Hey guys, as you all might know, we are going to have a Champion AI customization patch coming out soon. And uh, I really like that feature. I think this could be one of the biggest update Raid ever had. And uh, it is going to change the way players play this game. But personally for me, I already have my dungeon team or Doom Tower team set up. So I'm probably not going to use it uh, on the PvE content. But for PvP, I mean Arena and Tag Team Arena, especially on the arena defense side, it is going to be a game changer for sure. And um, for right now for arena offense, you obviously can do whatever you want with your champion, but on the arena defense, a lot of champions are bad at defense because the AI is so stupid. But after this update, you're able to customize the champion's AI. It's like, it's almost like you're fighting a real person, like almost, okay, because people can choose which skill to use first. And uh, it's, it is not just going to be a top arena thing. It's going to change arena from bronze to platinum, like entirely. And uh, I think like um, a lot of players complain about arena being too hard right now, right? But unfortunately, my prediction is once this patch comes out, arena is going to be tougher. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I think it will happen. So you guys gotta be ready. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about five champions that that are going to dominate arena once this patch comes out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, all right. So for the number five spot, I gotta give it to one of my favorite champion in the game. That is a Barbarian Legendary. That is Valkyrie post-COVID. That is Ursuga Warcaller. A Void Legendary HP based champion. And uh, uh, I think maybe a couple weeks ago or months ago, I made a video on Ursuga. Like I think this um, lady here is the best champion in the game for team ally protection. Like for single target ally protection, I, I think Necrit is better. But to protect the whole team in arena, Ursuga is the best. So she has this passive here. Uh, decrease the damage critical uh, from critical hits by 30%. If you gear her in a Guardian set, it's it's gonna be 40% damage re reduction across the whole team. Like she is literally amazing, amazing. And uh, and the, the funny thing is, when I made a video about Ursuga, I was literally the only person in Platinum Arena that uses her. But look at now. Okay, I'm in rank one right now. And look at how many people are using using Ursuga right now. Ursuga, Ursuga. Ursuga, like so many Ursugas right now. Um, I don't know if they watched my video or <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just a lot of people are using her. But one of her biggest weakness is that her AI. So if you don't know, if you don't have this champion and uh, her AI will always prioritize this A2. Like she doesn't use A3 first. So her A2 is doing some damage, but in arena situation, mostly enemy are going to have um, immunity buff, especially uh, in a defense situation. So if this patch comes out, I will definitely prioritize this A3. Like strengthen, this is the best defensive buff in arena situation. Strengthen is better than increased defense. This is just straight 25% damage reduction. Alright, so here is my Ursuga, uh, Ursuga's build. I get her in a Guardian set, so it's gonna make her passive to be 40% damage reduction across the whole team. Like, I think in a defense situation, Ursuga is better than Necrit. Like, a lot of people might say Necrit is better, but I mean, Necrit is like uh, amazing for both offense and defense. Like, I will give Necrit a 10 out of 10 for offense and 10 out of 10 for defense. But for Ursuga, I don't use her in arena offense at all. But for defense, I will give her a 12 out of 10. Like insanely good. Especially if, if I have three reaction. Like she's literally unkillable. And this passive pro protect the whole team. It's just amazing champion. So once this patch comes out, I, again, I will prior prioritize this A3. So the, the entire team is going to be have this passive damage reduction plus 25 strength and buff uh, damage reduction. So yeah, that's why I choose her as my number 5. 
All right, so my number four pick is going to be a very popular champion. Currently, the champion is only used in arena offense because her AI is so dumb. That is People's Champion. Yeah, we all know who that is. Madame Ceres. By the way, how do you guys say this word? Because I see different content creators say it different ways. It is Madame or Madam. I don't know. And, uh, all right, get to the point. Her AI is absolutely stupid right now. Like I don't know. Like Playrun did a lot of adjustment to her AI already, but doesn't seem to be working. Uh, in arena situation, obviously we always want to use this A3 first, right? But in a lot of situations right now, she's gonna prioritize A2. And uh, from what I know, if you want to, uh, if you want her to use A3 first, right now. It's going to require your team to have two or more, uh, two or more immunity buff on your team, and uh, enemy team cannot have shield buff. So it's kind of weird requirement, but just letting you guys know. All right, so once the new patch comes out, she is going to be amazing in defense because everyone is going to set up her AI to be prioritizing the A3, right? And uh, that's why I was talking about in the beginning which I said maybe average players are going to have a tougher time in arena once this patch comes out because currently we don't see her much often in arena defense because of her AI like I said so maybe in two weeks we're going to see her everywhere from gold 1 to gold 4 arena defense that's why you probably gonna be you, you probably gonna have a tougher time competing gold tier <laughs> so here is my madame build and um, yeah, just an ordinary madame. I haven't upgraded her gear in a while because uh, for top arena, she's not in the meta. But once the next patch comes out, I think we will expect to see a lot more madame in arena defense, especially uh, in the gold tier. People are going to start using her for defense. And uh, if you're slower than the enemy team, and uh, you're gonna get stripped. <laughs> That's just how it is. You're gonna find a way to deal with it. And that's why I'm saying the arena might be tougher for, for the average player base. So guys, be ready. Alright, so here comes to my top 3 pick. This is gonna be real talk because once next patch comes out, these 3 champions are going to make my game experience much worse. Because they're already super super overpowered and broken. And AI customization will make them even more powerful. We'll see. We'll start to see a lot of impossible defense. So, number three, I gotta give it to a demon spawn attack based champion. We all know who that is. We all got one shot by him before, right? We all know how how we feel about him. That is Candy Phone, Candy Phone. So, amazing champion overall, especially for defense, insane damage, and he does not need to be on a on a savage set, the optimal gearing for him is in a swift parry set. Just hoping for swift parry to proc and one shot the enemy team. That's the way I do it for arena defense. Um, this rating is a bit old, so don't look at these ratings. Um, A1 is a two hit, hits super hard, and A2 is an AoE hit, hits super super hard, and A3, um, kind of silly. I wish they designed it as put all these type of uh, buffs and get a, get an extra turn but this has no extra turn that's where the problem is you guys see it so right now how candy phones ai works is that he will use a2 let's say um he one shot two or three enemies champion and uh, he'll get an extra turn right if like get, get extra turn if this skill kills the enemy champion so what he does right now is, let's say he one shot some of enemy's champion, then he, he will just use A3. That's how silly it is. Even though uh, maybe enemy only have one champion alive, he, he will just use A3. Like, his AI is a problem, but with this problem being exist, he is already super super broken right now. So once the next patch comes out, I think most of players are going to set his AI customization to be never use A3. So we, obviously we're gonna do um, prioritize A2, right? Then we're gonna do the second prioritize is going to be A1. So 
nuke the enemy team, let's assume uh, this skill kill three of the enemy's champion, and then use A1 to finish them off. So here's my Kendrafon build. Uh, like I said, the most optimal way to gear Kendrafon for arena defense is going to be a Swift Parry set. You're just hoping if to proc and one-shot the enemy team. And uh, yeah, I will highly recommend you guys to gear him like this too. Um, if you're not able to get 100% crit rate, <laughs> like I am right now, that's fine. Like, if you're able to get, give him 80% crit rate with Swift Parry, just do it. And personally, I don't think he needs to be on a Savage set because I tested him in many situations. It seems like Savage set does not give him a huge damage plus. Uh, I don't know how the damage calculation works on him, but it's a little bit weird. So, uh, in conclusion, the best way to gear him, Swift Parry. The second best way is going to be, going to be Relentless. You're just hoping for that extra turn to proc and one-shot the enemy. Alright, so my number 2 pick is going to be another super popular champion that is currently in the Platinum Arena meta, a Demon Spawn Legendary, Prince Kaimar. Super popular champion, I think I was the only player that first showcased him in my video, and now he is everywhere. And uh, again, this champion is one of my favorite champions, A1 is AoE hit, like personally, if it's in Arena, I hope this is not an AoE, I hope it's single target because her, her, his A2 is a remove all buff and sleep and his A1 just breaks it. So I really hope this is a single target, but anyways, his A3 is reset cooldown for all skills. Uh, his AI right now is also, I don't know what, I don't even know what to say, like, it's not like Madame's AI, Madame's AI is just weird, she sometimes uses A3, sometimes uses A2, but Prince Kaimar just straight prioritize A3. Like even though he is the first one in the first one to go in the team, he's the fastest champion in the team, he still just used A3 first. Like super super stupid. So for the champion AI customization, we obviously in an arena situation we are going to prioritize A2. We just set it to use A2 first. Um, this is literally like a like an improved version of Madame. We're gonna see a lot of Prince Kaimar probably in a couple of weeks in arena defense. And obviously, I predict these Prince Kaimar defense are going to be speed team because he already has a super super good speed aura in all battles. My prediction is the way we're gonna see it on defense is going to be Prince Kaimar lead and a CV and a super super fast speed tune speed Kaimar. Um, yeah, just sleeps everyone. So, gotta find a way to deal with it, gotta be ready, guys. Alright, so let me just uh, do a Doom Tower run to show you guys why Prince Kaimar's AI is so bad. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a random stage. Alright, so Kaimar is the fastest champ in my team. Look at what he does. He just refreshes the cooldown when he's the first one to go. That's why this is literally so bad. And I'm really looking forward to the next patch. So, my number one pick. I think we all know who that is, right? If you are not new to this channel, you should know who that is. That's Warlord. A lot of champions are in the current meta, but this guy here, he is the meta. He is the meta. The best champion for Arena right now, both offense and defense. And yeah, I see a lot of people are going crazy after CV. Like, literally, most of raid players have this obsession with CV. Like, thinking about they get CV, they just beat the Arena. It's not the case. This guy is the best champion for Arena, I repeat. Like this A3 is just completely broken. Like 100% chance, just put your skill to cooldown. It makes no sense. It is completely broken. And uh, currently his only weakness is his AI just work like Madame. Super super stupid. He sometimes use A3, sometimes use A2. And uh, currently if you want him to use A2 first, there are two conditions. I already talked about it in my previous video. The first condition is two or more champions in your team need to have an immunity buff. Second condition is everyone need to have full HP. Very weird condition. I don't know why Playroom designed it this way. So, uh, from my recent video, I beat a lot of Warlord team. And I, a lot of Warlord team are, are geared in Swift Parry set. So when their health is at 1%, he just used his heal. He doesn't use A3. But what if next patch comes out? 
swift parry proc on, on the enemy's warlord and warlord just ate through my whole team like like there's no way i can win so with warlord i think there are gonna be a lot of impossible defense coming out soon and if you are top arena players uh if any top arena players that doesn't have a warlord there is a no way you can make into top 20 like i can guarantee top 20 of platinum arena after the new patch is going to be all warlord team and uh yeah if you if you're trying to push platinum arena and you don't have warlord you're probably also gonna have a really bad time so um we might wonder how do you how do you like counter this type of warlord defense right uh dealing with situations like warlord is at one hp and swift parry proc how do you prevent him to to just a through your whole team to put everyone's skill to cooldown the answer is very simple okay guess what just use a warlord in your offense easy as that you just a, a three them first put their skill to cooldown that's why i'm saying this guy here number one champion for arena right now undisputed all right so the thing i'm about to say might get a lot of hate but i will say anyways uh, i'll just say this in one sentence i think he needs to be nerfed simple as that like this a3 is way too strong just put everyone's skill to cooldown makes no sense to me like i'm not particularly talking about this skill i'm, I'm talking about this whole mechanic just putting everyone's skill to cooldown like in this game there is a debuff called block skill cooldown like I, I just don't understand why they designed this skill this way especially we already have a debuff exist in the game let me give you guys a very simple example um let's assume there is a champion that can prevent the enemy team to get any buffs without putting a block buffs debuff it's literally like that like why do they design this this effect when there is already a debuff it makes no sense so uh especially like just put everyone's skill to cooldown man that's not right because champion like basher um, basher is similar right but he just put everyone's skill to cooldown for two turns i think warlord should be designed like this as well like warlord should be for example obviously this is a void legendary right we got he has to be stronger than basher so just make it like 100% chance to put each target skill to, to cooldown for three turns stuff like that it, it makes no sense to me that uh three three turns cooldown skill are put to cooldown for three turns and five turns cooldown skill to, are put to cooldown for five turns like this is just overpowered like i don't know if i'm gonna get hated for saying this all right so here i will find a warlord defense and show you guys what i'm talking about uh i'm gonna pick this guy i know his warlord is in a sweet parry Let's see. I'm gonna boost, sleep, and nuke. All right, so Swift Parry on Arbiter. So Wolo gets a turn right now. Wolo is about to get a turn. He used heal here, right? If it's next patch, he will just A3 my entire team and i'm done simple as that like it's all about reviver swift parry and warlord that's gonna be the meta we just gotta find a way to deal with it all right guys that's it for this video and uh, what do you think about these champions let me know in the comments below and uh yeah i think this patch overall is really good could be one of the best patch ever but we'll see what happens right one thing for sure is arena is gonna be tougher so guys gotta be ready and uh i'll see you guys on the next one bye